Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. What's good, everybody out there in YouTube land? Vig Mike is back with some fresh movie reviews. Today is Christmas Eve. It is December 24th, 2022. Over this past week, I have seen three new films that are all obviously meant for the Oscars, considering the last couple of weeks of December, we get the heavy hitters, which means dramas and big stars and usually big directors. The first movie that we're going to be talking about is the film Spoiler Alert. It's based off of the memoirs created by Michael Osiello in 2017 titled Spoiler Alert, The Hero Dies. It tells the story of him and his relationship with his partner Kit Cowan. This film was directed by Michael Showalter, who has worked quite a bit with his muse, Sally Field, who also stars in this film. He directed her not too long ago in a little lovely film I saw called Hi, My Name is Doris. Now, Jim Parsons plays Michael Osiello, and Ben Aldridge plays Kit Cowan, and Sally Field plays Ben Aldridge's mother in the film. And again, this is a film that's based on true events. Michael Osiello, portrayed by Jim Parsons, or you get what I mean, Jim Parsons, who portrays Michael Osiello, he is terrific in this film. The romance that blossoms between these two, it's very, very lovely. And I want to say here and now that I know that we had a gay movie a little bit further back this year called Bros, which was supposed to poke fun at the tropes and traditional ways that gays are portrayed in modern films. And I have to say, I feel like this movie did things a little bit better. You know, I know it might seem a little unfair to compare real-life events with one's partner to a straight-up comedy with a political satire, if you will. But I want to bring it up just because I felt like, spoiler alert, was much more of a genuine, good-hearted, good-natured film. And again, the fact that it's steeped in reality, you know, with people playing real people, it just seemed to flow a lot better with the relationship in this film than it did in Bros between, you know, uh, God, I even forgot the guy's name. Forgive me, who was in Bros. It's something, but anyway, you know what I'm trying to say. Uh, Billy Eichner, forgive me. It finally came to me. But, um... Yeah, Michael Showalter, when it comes to directing dramas, the man has it got it. He's got it down packed. He knows what he's doing. And the editing and the narrative flow that, you know, spoiler alert has, it works very well. It's, it's fun because Michael Osiello, as a person, he seems like he's a really sweet, genuine soul because he has a really big love of the Smurfs and he's very good-natured, and he also is very caring, whereas Kit, in this film portrayed by Ben Aldridge, he can be a little rough around the edges, but he's also still very much human. But at the end of the day, the chemistry between Ben Aldridge and Jim Parsons feels very, very real, because again, it is based on real people. And to give you guys a quick synopsis of the film, it's a movie about a man, Michael Osiello, who is a gay man who believes his whole life is told as an 80s sitcom, complete, by the way, with cute little cutbacks to a cute little chubby kid with wavy hair and an 80s mom or whatever. Um, he always believed like that was his life. He's someone who works in New York City and he lives in New Jersey and he's working with some TV people and stuff like that. He's in the media and... When he meets this guy, Kit, they hit it off. Even though they are kind of different from each other, they find some common ground. And unfortunately, Kit develops colon cancer. And 
other things, unfortunately, follow from there. And it's... I'm not going to give away the spoiler alert, but let me just say, you'll need tissues, obviously, for this film. Because, again, what is given and portrayed by these two men is terrific. And Sally Field, who plays the mother to Kit Cowan, she does a very good job as well. Even though she can be a little bit over the top, it's okay. Because most mothers are. They love their sons. But, um... Regardless, I thought this was one of the better movies of the year. I found this movie to be quite tear-inducing, I won't lie, but it also had some solid laughs and a hell of a lot of heart. I'm glad that I had a very mature audience when I went to go see it. This was a very, very good drama. I do recommend you see it. But again, I recommend you bring your tissue box with you as well. And by the way, stay through the credits. Not There's nothing at the very end, but there's something in the very middle that's very, very good. So definitely check it out. And with that being said, I'm now going to assign my grade for Spoiler Alert. Spoiler Alert gets a well-deserved A+. It is well-acted, well-edited, well-directed. It is a well-rounded film. I think you guys are really going to like it. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my review today of Spoiler Alert. It's still in theaters right now. Go check it out. And be sure to look forward to my next review, which is Empire of Light. So... You guys take care, be well, and I'll see you at the movies. Bye now.